What is going on guys, I'm Steven and welcome back to another China phone tutorial. Now today I want to show you how to change or recover your IMEA number. And I will just call it EMEA number because I hate saying IMEI and also it takes a lot of time. But anyway, I will just call it EMEA number and today I want to show you how to recover it or change it. And for instance, if you buy a phone from China and your SIM card doesn't work, then the EMEA number could be blacklisted, blocked or whatever. And this is a huge problem. So there are so many smartphones in the world, I think more smartphones than people, and each of them should have a unique number. And this isn't possible. Sometimes some phones have the same email number, sometimes they spoof the email number to make it look like a real smartphone, especially on Galaxy S5 clones, so be really careful with that. And yeah, um, that means that the email number could get blacklisted. And then your SIM card doesn't work, you can't connect to your provider, and this is a huge problem on China phones. But anyway, there's a solution, and you can change your main number with MTK Droid tools. And before I want to show you how to do this, just a little disclaimer. It's illegal to change your main number, at least in some countries. I really don't know why it is illegal in some countries, but yeah, it is illegal. But if you just recover your main number, that means, for instance, after you flash a custom ROM, your baseband could be broken because you overwrite it, and that can corrupt your EMEI number. And then you will have invalid EMEI or something. And if you just recover your EMEI number, that shouldn't be illegal. But you're not allowed to change it to a different EMEI number. Like for instance, put in the um, EMEI number of an original S5. And don't do this. So this could be illegal in your country. And I'm not responsible for any damage or um, any lawsuits, okay? But now today I want to show you how to recover it and how to get back a working smartphone. Now before we start, let me show you how a broken email number looks like. And in this case, the email number got overwritten. But also you could have an invalid email and it's just blacklisted. So first of all, find out your email number. Go to the dial application and dial star hashtag 06 hashtag. This displays your email numbers. You can see I have two email numbers because it's a dual SIM phone. So here we have email 1 and email 2. And on dual SIM phones, both emails are very similar. Usually they just differ in the last digit. But anyway, if the email number shows 12345678900 or 0000, then it means your email number is corrupted and you have to restore it. And if you can see here an valid email number, then just call your provider and ask if this email is blacklisted. Now, um, before we can change the email number, I want to show you what you have to do on your smartphone. So you have to go to settings and you have to access the developer options. If you can't see them, go to about the phone and tap seven times at build number, which will give you the developer options on your smartphone. Now go back to the developer options and enable USB debugging mode. This is what we need. Because without USB debugging mode, our phone isn't connected in ADB mode and it won't be recognized by MTK Droid tools, which is the tool we're going to use to change the main number. So make sure your speed debugging mode is enabled. And now you have to find out your correct email numbers. So it's actually pretty easy to find the email number which belongs to your smartphone. Usually you get a little sticker with the email number with your smartphone. And you usually get this if you have a device with integrated battery where you can't take out the battery. So this one here is from my QBot S168. And you can see the email numbers are on the sticker. So just check if there was a sticker in the package. And if you have devices where you can remove the battery, just remove the back cover. So I will do it here. It's the EcoFocus, pretty good device with a nice screen. And here you can see um, the battery pack. So just take it out and here you should see a sticker. And on the sticker there should be your email number or if you have a dual SIM phone, both email numbers. So email one is the corresponding email number for SIM card slot one, email two for SIM card slot two. And it's easy as that. So just note down your email numbers because later you have to put them in into the tool. And here you can see both email numbers are very similar, just the last two digits here are different. And this is common on Chinese smartphones with dual SIM. Okay, then let's go to the computer and let's try to change our email number. So let's go guys. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we're now actually ready to go. You just have to have your smartphone with USB debugging mode enabled, root access on your smartphone and USB cable to connect it to the computer and the tools and drivers. And you can find the download link for the tools and drivers down below in the description. So first of all, you need the ADB drivers. Those ADB drivers just make sure 
that your phone is recognized in USB debugging mode by the computer. So you just download the PDA net installer. It's very simple. You just have to double click, then run it. And basically it installs the drivers for you. You just have to do nothing. Just click next, 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 and boom, the drivers are installed on your computer. Okay, that's step number one. Then you have to download MTK Droid Tools. The latest version right now is 2.5.3. And we will need this tool to change the main number. Okay, so actually we're ready to go. Now you can connect your smartphone to the computer. Just once again, make sure USB debugging mode is enabled. And if the smartphone is not recognized by the tool we're going to use right now, then try to switch from USB storage to MTP mode or charge only. This usually does the trick. Okay, so just give me a second to connect the smartphone to the computer. So there we go. Okay, so as you've heard, it's connected right now. And um, as you can see, I have USB storage mode enabled. On some phones, this works, but on some phones, you have to switch to MTP mode. But anyway, let's just run MTK Droid Tools. Be sure to run it as administrator and just go here to yes. And you can only use this tool here on Windows. So that's just a huge problem. If you're using Linux, or if you use, for instance, Mac, then just um, go to a friend which has a Windows PC and you just have to download the simple tool. It's very easy to use. Okay, so we're now here in MTK Droid Tools. You can see here several buttons and basically here you can see your phone information. So your real hardware. And you should also check this out. And here you should see your email numbers. And you see currently my email is invalid because I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, zero, and all this shit. So now you have to have root access in order to change the email number. This can be a problem because my phone is rooted and you see MTK Droid tools detect the um, super user binaries here in the folder system bin and it's still not rooted. So you have to press the root button to get a temporary root shell access. And you just go here to yes, and this usually works if the super user binary is found on the smartphone. If it doesn't work, you have to reroute your smartphone because something went wrong and you don't have proper root shell access. And yeah, root shell access is really important. Without proper root shell access, you can't change your main number, you can't back up your ROM, so make sure it is working. And yeah, it can take up to one minute, but I think something is messed up right now because it doesn't load anymore and my smartphone just freezed. But anyway, I will try to fix this and I will do a little cut here and I will just try to reboot. So just give me a few seconds. Okay guys, I'm back. There was just a simple problem with SuperSU on my smartphone. Anyway, you see root shell access is really important. I had to reboot and just re-grant access to the ADB shell. So also check your smartphone. If there's a pop-up like something ground root shell access to MTK Droid tools, be sure to accept this. Okay, and after this you should have the green box here, which means you have root shell access. If the box is still yellow, then something went wrong and you should see here red message, which tells you um, your phone can't be rooted with the root button or anything. Then you have to install a custom recovery and flash super SU because there's something messed up with the binaries. And you can find a tutorial for that on ChinaDevices.com. Anyway, when the box is green, you're good to go and we can continue. Now to change the email number, we have to click at email slash nvram. And um, here you can also back up and restore your nvram. This can be really important if you upgrade your ROM, if you for instance install a custom ROM, then sometimes your NVRAM gets overwritten. And then um, your NVRAM, your baseband is corrupted and you can easily restore it here if you have a backup of your NVRAM. But anyway, it should already be gone because your main number is corrupted, okay? And this usually occurs after you flash a custom ROM. What you have to do now is just replace the main numbers here and I have them here on my desktop. So I just copy paste them in here. Just be sure not to give email 1 and email 2 the same number. This won't work, okay? And then you replace the email numbers by just clicking here, add replace email. And you will see here this message, just go to yes, and boom, you're ready to go. Now you have to go back to MTK Droid Tools, so it should be here. And in order to see the changes, you have to reboot your smartphone. 
So you just click here at reboot and reboot again and your smartphone should reboot. So now you should have changed your email numbers and now we're going to check this on the smartphone. So you can disconnect your smartphone and now let's have a look at the email numbers on the smartphone. Now here comes the final moment. We're back on the smartphone and what we have to do is just dial once again star hashtag 06 hashtag and here we can see both valid email numbers. Perfectly this tutorial works and it's very easy to use. So if you can't get a signal, check your email number, call your provider. If the frequencies are correct, then it's mostly because the email number is broken or blacklisted. Okay guys, I hope you enjoyed my tutorial. As always, please feel free to check out chinadevices.com, just register and post a new thread if you have any questions and I will try to reply as soon as possible. Thank you so much for watching, I really hope I see you again in my next videos and um, yeah, just bye bye and have a nice day.